Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today we're looking at the two-sided sign node. So, jumping straight in, what does two-sided sign do? Now the first thing that we're going to need to do is go to the material and click two-sided. Bam. Now we're using a two-sided material. This is what you would do for, you know, foliage cards or things where you, you know, they're like two-dimensional, they're like completely flat. Um, but you need both sides to show up. So if we grab a plane here and let's just apply this material. So you can see on the front side, it is white. It's returning one. And on the back side, it is black. Now it's not actually returning zero. It's returning negative one. And this will, this will be uh, useful information later on. So what can we do with this? Well, one thing that we could do is make the color of each face different, depending on, you know, if it's the back or if it's the front. This could be handy for, you know, if you're doing something with leaves, um, often leaves are, you know, a different color on top than they are on bottom. So what we can do is use a LERP, a linear interpolation, which I have a video on, and I'll put it up in the corner. And we're going to clamp this or saturate this, uh, which is going to restrict it to zero and one, like the range of zero to one. So that the side that is one will be one and the side that is not one, and it's negative one in this case, will be zero. So now if we look at our material, we can see it's yellow on this side, pink on that side. Pretty cool. So if we wanted to, for example, have two normal maps for, you know, one for each side of the thing. Let me just grab a normal map. We're going to get the mannequins normals and we're going to get a, I don't know, terrain, ground, dirt, normal. And then we're going to plug this in to our normal slot. And we have a dirt normal on this side. And on this side, we have the Unreal Engine mannequins normal map. Very cursed. That is use case number one. Use case number two is to smooth out the normals of our foliage by using two-sided sign. So if we have a look at this tree over here and we go to the buffer visualization mode, we're going to go to the world normal. As you can see, the normals on this tree look quite... Uh, they look like they're all nice and kind of, you know, uniform. They're all clumped together in like a nice kind of spherical direction. If I was to go to the material where this lives, and I was to just plug in a regular old normal in there. Now, the reason that these normals look whack as hell is because the backside of the plane has the opposite normals to the front side. So you can see this bit here yellow here and then its opposite color is here so what we're going to do with the two-sided sign node is we're going to multiply the front face by one and we're going to multiply the back face by negative one which is going to make this face this direction so if we go in here we go two-sided sign and we multiply this outward facing normal by the two-sided sign node, then you can see instantly our normals look a lot nicer. Now, this is a really handy trick when, you know, your grass looks uh, very dodgy sometimes. So, for example, uh, your grass might have upwards facing normals, which, you know, makes it look good. Um, but sometimes you'll get these really dark back faces. Now, the reason for that is, once again, the normals on the back sides are facing directly down if we've made our, our regular normals face upwards. Um, so we look in world normal and you can see that these are completely opposite colors. So what we're going to do is we are going to get this. We are going to, once again, multiply it by two-sided two-sided sign bam chuck that in the normal and we'll hit save and ta-da it all looks fantastic 
Now, this is a good replacement for foliage subsurface. So you can imagine like if we have our leaf here and you know, the, the light is hitting it in this direction and on the back side, it's also going to be facing this way as though it was being lit from this side. So it's kind of as though the, the light travels through it a hundred percent. All right. So the very last thing that we're going to look at today is this one's a, a, a bit of a fun one. It probably won't come in handy very often. Um, but you can use it to flip the normals of your one-sided mesh. So if we put this on here on this cube, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a masked material. Then we're going to get our two-sided sign node. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by negative one and then saturate it and then put it into the opacity mask. And now you can see that this cube has its normals flipped. It's a, it's like a one-sided material now, except we only see the, the, the back face instead of the, the front face. So, you know, you can use this for like some interesting optical illusions. Uh, you could use it on spheres, so we could chuck that in. And you know, now we have a really trippy kind of, you know, those optical illusions where like the face is always like looking at you because it's like an inverted shell. That's kind of what this reminds me of. So, I mean, you could use this for some pretty wacky effects and stuff, but it's the kind of thing that, you know, if you were planning to do this, you might just want to flip the normals in your 3D program of choice. But, you know, it's a very interesting effect. So that is the two-sided sign node. What it does is on the front face of a two-sided material, it returns one. On the back face, it will return negative one. We can use it to make different colors on either side of the, you know, the two-sided face. We can use it to change the normals on either side, you know, use a different texture or normal map or anything like that. We can also use it to flip the normals of the back face so that the, you know, it's as though the light is transmitting straight through it to get even lighting on foliage and that kind of stuff. And we can also use it to invert the hull of any object if you wanted to do that for some reason. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay up to date with all the blah, 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 videos, blah, 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 blah. And if you do want to learn more about Unreal Engine, I do stream every day on twitch.tv slash prismaticadev. Also want to shout out our patrons who are absolutely fantastic. I, I really appreciate you guys for the support. And if you want to join the Patreon, you can do so for as little as $1 per month in the link in the Schmeeble Deeble. So I guess with that, we say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>